hear it all at hearitfirst.com. The title track, uh, Love is on the Move, that, that whole theme is kind of woven through the record. And we didn't really go into the process like thinking like, oh my gosh, we've got to have some theme. Like Leland was saying earlier today, like we just kind of went in and said, God, we want to make a record for you. Just yeah, like, just love songs to him. I think you know we came off the road and when uh, after opposite way, and, and we've been really really busy, you know, uh, touring that record and and you know we we and it's been incredible. So many testimonies from it and stuff, and it's encouraged us a lot. And came into the studio and had all these ideas, a lot of unfinished ideas, and and I think we just kind of like, a little bit tired from the road and and kind of just came in and we were just like, God, you know, we just want to get in your presence and we just want to tell you how much we love you. We want to use our gift just to sing to you, you know, and, and yeah. I think I think every record's kind of had, you know, a theme, like Opposite Way had a big theme to it, Sound of Melody's kind of had a cool theme going through it, and this record, like Jack said, we didn't really go on saying, we're going to have a theme to this record, we're just going to write songs for Jesus and sing to Him, and literally every song is like singing to God or singing yeah. uh, about Him, and and uh, whereas the last record was very missional and kind of speaking to people. The, um, the actual song, Love is on the Move, we were here in town in Nashville, we were on yeah. the way to the studio to do like a writing session. Mm -hmm. And uh, we, we stopped at a red light, and there was a homeless man just right there at the red light. And uh, Lutheran was like, hey, let's give him some money. So we're literally going to give him money. And like the, uh, he's still you know, probably like 30 feet away from us. And then the, the, the light goes green, and like all these cars start rushing down. And they're so we, ha we have to go. You know? And so we, we pull off. And at that point, like, we're just kind of like, you know, it's almost the temptation of like, oh, well, now it's. It would have been convenient to get to him in the red light, but now it's inconvenient because we're going to have to go all the way back around to get to him. So, but Leland was like, no, man, let's, let's stop. So we go in the gas station, Leland ATM some money. Lee runs down there to find the guy and hands him a little bit of money and, you know, says, God bless you, you know, and, and just runs back to the van. And we go off back to the studio. And we didn't really even think about yeah. that. I mean, it was in, we just did it, and we went back to the studio, and we were riding on just some random fast, you know, idea and then Leland goes over with the piano and just randomly just starts playing this really beautiful melody uh, love is on the move revealing heaven's truth this is really the flowy like beautiful thing and all of us just like it was just like whoosh you know and like well, and the came whole song and came in in a few minutes all the lyrics and everything yeah and it was like a move of God in the studio and uh, we didn't really notice it until after we wrote the song yeah we uh, it was incredible, and the song like was bringing like most of us all to tears. Mm -hmm. Just the idea of that the first verse talks about a homeless guy uh, who uh, has nothing and and needs the love of God, and the second verse talks about a rich man in a high rise building who has everything and but still needs the love of God, and uh, and then the third verse talks about Jesus and him dying on the cross and him being love on the move and yeah. when he went to the cross and and then uh, and so after after we wrote it we kind of like. Yeah, it was a powerful. We kind of remembered really giving powerful. money to the to the homeless guy and yeah. stepping out in faith a little bit, or actually just just being loved to that guy for a minute. And yeah, it's kind of like God honored I, it yeah, a little bit. Yeah, like God honored that you know act of love and the deposited this song you know uh, into that moment, and it was just, it was amazing you know to be a part of it and just how it came to fruition. There's a lot of really cool, a lot of really cool moments in this record. I think yeah. spiritually, spiritually, I came out of this record like closer to God than when I went in. Which usually like, doesn't happen when you're making a record. Usually you come know? out kind of stressed because there's, there's a time frame. I mean, yeah. it's fun, but it, I mean, you got to make sure you're, you're getting it right. And you're kind of, mm -hmm. sometimes you're kind of worried about are the fans going to like this record as much as they like the last one? Are, is there enough, is there a radio single? Sometimes those, those thoughts can creep in and, but then none of that happened in this record. Yeah. We were just like, literally got lost in the presence of God every single day and I'm honest when I say that and it was like, so cool like we found ourselves sometimes we like worshiped with the producer ed cash was one of the producers and steve wilson both the producers we would just sit and worship god for 30 and 40 minutes just like there were some times i'd sing in vocals and like almost started crying like on some of the songs and i couldn't sing like cry voice but, yeah because like the love of god was just touching me so much and i cry when i feel god and and yeah, so like too. uh so that was happening a lot during the recording process and it was a great experience really awesome